Welcome, Dan Jazz Co. Moose here, 181 Bank Street, in London, Connecticut. Glenn Felt here on camera. Paula, she's not coming down today. Later on. Later on. What, she working at the salon? Working at the salon. Too. Yep. Cut above, Waterford, Boat Invest Salon, Southeastern Connecticut. Glenn and Paula on that. They also do an Orsini Sausage Company. Oh man, fantastic sausage. We're doing lasagna, like next time, right, Ben? I think so. I mean, I think. Glenn. <laughs> Ben will be here in a little bit. But uh, uh, hot sausage, we're gonna do a hot ground Italian sausage, triple hot. Arsini Sausage Company, arsinis.com. Lots of nice sausage for the holidays. So uh, one of our YouTube friends wants to uh, ask for uh, the rabbi. Rabbi, what's his name, gold? Gold, black, gold, gold something. I'm gonna do some research on it, make sure he's true really rabbi. You don't wanna like, like, you know, like you say you're a rabbi, boy, that's like, <laughs> yeah, you, huh? You can't do that. Got a lot that's of, got a lot of schmaltz. <laughs> so, uh, the mishpuka, they said. <laughs> my, uh, my buddy, uh, guy rest his soul, passed away. Friend of mine from Texas, and uh, he used to tell me all the good words. Mishpuka, my family, and. Uh, Schmaltz is what, chicken fat? So, uh, so anyway, let's go chicken francaise, the rabbi. So I'm just gonna show you, you know, I got a couple up on the other channel, Chaplin's Restaurant page, but this is, you know, it's evolved, you know, the evolution of the chicken francaise here. So, Metal. Metal's got a cameo appearance. <laughs> so, uh. So, got, again, like, we're not gonna go too hot on the, uh. The uh, Parmesan. I put a little Parmesan on it just to give it that extra. Maybe the original recipe doesn't call for it, but you know what? I like it, so I'm doing it. Uh, to get some nice, see? you can't take some nice slices of, of toast, like bread, and cut the crust off. That's the real classic. You do a little French toast in between each layer. Okay, turn the fire down a little bit. And we're doing. I do a little bit more parm on top. So it's like an Italian chicken francaise. You know, we did it nice and thin enough so that it cooks quick. That's why, you know, everything's pretty much sauteed here. I haven't fired that grill up yet. I don't know what I'm waiting for. Okay. That either go in the oven or we throw up under the cheese melter. Right here, just, just for a minute or so. Uh, okay. Give me a small ladle. You want to try that francaise? <coughs> yes, sir. Thank you. So what I have is a bear blanc. I got a little, little bear blanc. So I used to do the sauce. Right, uh, right in the skillet with the francaise. But people are really digging it how we're doing it now with the chicken on the side, on the sauce on the side rather. Look at that nice color, right? Alright, here we go. Hey big. Disappoint, no green onions today. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look. Oh yeah. Oh 
That would have been right. A little bit of bare blonde. So tender, right? It almost melts in your mouth. It really does. Mm. That's really good. It's cut so, so thin, and the Francaise makes it real, real tender. Like butter. Jason, you want to try it? Justin, you want to try it? No. All right, you good? Be that way. <laughs> I love that over some garlic spinach. That's what I was just to make today. It. It's uh, excellent. Hey, it's Daddy Jacks going with the blues here. Come and visit us sometime. 181 Bank Street, Glen Felty on camera. Get that get up. We upgraded. We got that high high uh, high, de high def uh, camera now. I see the big difference. You know, some of that chicken stew recipe, the chicken Vesuvio. Oh, look at the pops. Those uh, those plates are popping. <laughs> All right. Hey, happy uh, Thanksgiving. Just a couple weeks before Thanksgiving. Uh, peace to everybody out there. Invite and uh, I'll, uh, reach out to a loved one. Somebody in town you know that's uh, maybe lost a, uh, you know, a uh, partner uh, that's alone for the holidays. Invite me to your table. More the merrier. That's what Thanksgiving's all about. Peace.